This is Dabu 7, and this is my warning for a false flag. And the reason I say that is what I'm about to show you. It's in your face. I've been reporting on the news for a long while, and what I'm seeing here now is a scare tactic being put out by the mainstream media, uh, initiated by these governments. And all these governments are tied in, hand in hand. Uh, you need to see the bigger picture here. They're all part of this game. As they put out the video yesterday, where did all these threats originate from? Yemen. Okay, now you're reading in the headlines that it's coming from the Arabian Peninsula and that they're shutting down all these embassies, 22 embassies in all, uh, in all these different areas. And they're saying that this is a high risk time. Well, what they're not saying is that this is uh, Leilat al-Qaeda, which is the night of power in this Islamic extremist tradition. Okay? This is the night of rewards for deeds of pleasing Allah, and it's magnified a thousandfold. You want to talk about karma points. This is what the supposed enemy that they want you to believe, these Islamic extremists, no problem killing anybody if they think they're going to get something out of it. It's monstrous. Yet that's the mind frame. So, And that's not all Muslims. That's these extremists and what they've got going on, what the United States government and the CIA have done, uh, what they've created. They created bin Laden and they created Al-Qaeda. Do your homework. It's, it's there. It's true for those of you that are just tuning in. Um, they did indeed. And they created them to fight off the Russians. And all that front. So they created bin Laden and used bin Laden as their scapegoat for whatever is the guy in the cave when they brought down the towers. And they brought down the towers to go into a country where, that they didn't have control of. And that was Saddam Hussein. And they went in there and they went in there for a lot of things. But... They did the same thing in Libya. They went on top of Libya, and it's chaos there. And they've caused all hell to break loose in Egypt. And now you see what's taking place in Syria. And they've been trying to get at Syria for a long time. They've been trying to hit these different countries for years. Look at the history of the attacks that's been waged on these different countries. And now they're starting to topple certain countries. And it's starting to sway. So this is a huge stage, and you need to never forget that. All these people are puppets. You're Snowden, you're Putin in Russia, you know, the world's most interesting man. Um, all of this stuff, that they're all tied in together. All these world powers are in on this um, because it's a play on the people to control them. They're on a whole different religion, a whole different belief than some of you can wrap your head around. And it's satanic, luciferian. Now check this out. Icing on the cake. Some people were like, what the? Yes, what timing again? Russian ships are docked in Cuba. For whatever reason, they're there to refuel and replenish supplies, whatever. They're there, and they've got muscle. Just about 100 miles off the coast of our, you know, Florida Keys. So here's some pictures of them. Coming into port, and they've got muscle. And there's a fleet. So, what's the odds of that and the timing? So, now you have this huge warning on this huge holy day for these extremists. Uh, Russians parked down here in Cuba. You have the Yemen president, where all the leaks were coming from, flying out from here and you have a heightened alert upgraded basically stating that this is a very specific threat and the specificness of it is is that it's going to happen but they don't know where imagine that that's the word they're coming out and they're using words like catastrophic Peter King tells seeing a catastrophic type of attack is in the works. And CBS says 
that the, th the terrorists behind it are selected and in place. Once again, how do you know this? CBS, you know, you on the phone with them. They're selected and in place. Do you guys see what's going on here? They're saying that it's going down. These bombs, these people, it's been selected. Whatever is in place. Eyes open. Okay? Catastrophic is what they're coming at. And I'm going to give you another fair warning. If you see another, a little explosion take place, a car bomb in a country, it makes headlines. Kills maybe 20 people. That's not it. That's not the event. Okay? That is the, going to be a distraction to pull people off of it. You need to keep your eyes on the prize. They're coming after it. It's time. And what I'm telling you is this. If the lights went out last week, a week from today, before today, the people would have never known what was going on. They could have assumed anything took us out. Okay, but they really wouldn't have known for sure. It would been all speculation. There would have been no TV for the government to brainwash them with anything with. No, It's going to be all hell. Okay? While they're recording it all from the drones in the sky, watching everything, unleashing everything. Okay, they're about to unleash everything. That's what I feel is about to take place right now. And they're telling you, they're warning you ahead of time. So why are they telling you and warning you ahead of time? Why are they putting it out there, brainwashing everyone, terrorist, Al-Qaeda, once again, here we go. We don't know where, but everything's on lockdown. Why? Because if they do hit us and the lights go out, everybody in this country, well, that's still sleeping, are going to believe that Al-Qaeda in a terrorist attack hit us. Every one of them are, and they're going to be the same people that run straight up to them soldiers and jump in the back of them FEMA trucks, head to them FEMA camps for a shower. Okay. Eyes open, folks. So they're putting something in place here. And I, I can't tell you it's going to happen on the 4th. This whole thing is issued throughout the whole month of August. That drill in Indiana, what timing is throughout the whole e end of August? And you've got Russian warships parked down in Cuba now. You've got Syria getting ready to get bombed again. It just got bombed yesterday by Israel. They've got 200 jets ready to go pound Syria again. Damascus is going to fall. This whole thing is played out. And all hell is about to break loose. But to get what they want here, there has to be a huge blow in the United States. I think you all know it. The Twin Towers wasn't enough. It has to dwarf that. And they will. This is my warning for a false flag, folks. I'm saying it's coming. Just keep your eyes open. They're putting it out there. Okay? This isn't a scare tactic. Use your logic. Have a plan, like I always say. What would you do if the lights go out today, tonight? Have a plan. Okay, I'll leave links. You guys can read all these articles. And I've got more information coming up that I'll be putting more videos out on following this. Y'all stay safe. Eyes open. It's been Dabu7. Peace.